All right, 44 Cambridge here in Broomall. I'm gonna spin you around here. So it's Robin's listing at Remax. So I'll show you the front yard. I actually spin you around too, get a little glimpse of the neighborhood here. So quite a few homes here. A friend of mine, Joe Froyo, wow, probably five years ago, flipped one of these. It was beautiful. So uh, let's stay outside for a bit. And also too, there's one I have coming up right back there that uh, did some drone footage the other day. So I might add that in there because we're on a schedule today. But newer roof from what I can tell, obviously do your own due diligence, consult the disclosure, but it 3D architectural shingles. And this is a cool little bump out. So we'll get obviously a better sense of how that's laid out inside. Let's see if we can get to the backyard without any trouble. As long as I know how to use a gate, no trouble. And there is your true backyard oasis. It's a little deck area there. Behind me, the awning. Oh, this is beautiful. Spin you around. And that's all composite too. So I like what they did there with the planners. You do have some green space. Obviously your lounging space. <laughs> Fully fenced in. And then you have these. I'm not sure if they're green giants. Uh, Arbor Vitis. But look at that. Beautiful. So we'll take you down. There is a diving board. I Hopefully I don't fall into the water. <laughs> that would make for an interesting video. All right, there you go. Nice. Haven't seen too many houses with the pools out to show these days. And then just so you see, you really can't get out this way. <laughs> so really, really super private. I mean, they're what? I'm six, 12, 13 to 15 feet high. Probably I'm guessing hedges. And then down here, so you get out of the sun space. Show you the backyard. Oh yeah, huh. this is this is awesome. All right, so let's take you back around. Let's see if the previous realtor made sure they locked it. You never know. All right, and one thing I'll, I'll compliment them on too, in addition to the pool and everything I see so far, landscaping. It's nice. Even that tree right there. I don't think I said it when I came up here. So we're, uh, we're getting to be spring very soon. And this looks very sharp. So two car garage, fairly certain with the width of that door. Then the side we couldn't get to, it's just this. So there's the hedges. You're gonna see the AC unit here. You hear the pool equipment too. All right, yeah, everything's tucked, uh, tucked in the corner here. I like it. All right, so that is the outside, obviously corner property. You do have a decent amount of green space here as well. I like that. All right, now we're really gonna do it. <laughs> we're gonna head on in. Concrete looks to be in good shape. Check all that. Stone front. And in the front door we go. The shoes are coming off. I think they requested that anyway. Yep, they the shoe covers. So, entranceway. Let's get the lay of the land. Dining room, kitchen, and then door to the pool. Some more of your family room. A couple steps up, and then the bedrooms. So, just wanna show this off, stay one level at a time, as normal. Nice. Two sconces there. Crank out windows here. So you can see with the wood. Really nice. And clearly a higher ceiling here too, which adds to it. Should be the coat closet in here. Shoes off, please. Absolutely. Hardwood floors continue into the closet. Obviously into the dining room too. Recessed lighting. Okay. I don't know if it comes across in the video. It's really a light pink hue, I want to say, for the color of the walls here. So there we are. We'll spin into the kitchen. Oh, wow. Look at this. I love just a few steps to go down. I gotta see what this is. <laughs> All right, pantry. That would've been my guess. Looks like an access panel above. All right, recessed lighting in here. And this is why they bumped it out, to get a bigger kitchen. So we are in the bump out right now. So all this is added on. Look at that. It really opens it up. Gives it a unique look. Good one too. Sink, everything's here. Very functional. All right, cool, and plenty of cabinets. 
even here, it just continues here in this in this nook. Please lock back door, thanks. <laughs> Make sure it's locked. There's the backyard, and hopefully you can see this here. Plenty of storage, to say the least. All right, we're gonna head down. That is a cool kitchen. I like the layout. Tile floor too, I didn't talk about that yet. And something I will talk about, and I always talk about, this is flush. So no step up, no step down, no threshold. I like that. So good contractors do that. Then we go to the lower level. Oh, cool. So this walks right out to the pool. That's, I didn't check that. Make sure it wasn't left. <laughs> it was left open. Dun -da -dun. So there you go. We are not going to leave it open. We're going to lock it. Okay. Bathroom here. Makes sense with the pool. Big spot too, there. Toilet there, spin around. Huh, really a lower level family room or a den. You have this beautiful view. <laughs> this is, this is cool. Wow. Very, very cool. Okay, we'll keep going. So utility room, washer dryer. Now I did notice that from outside like a glass block in there so you can kind of peek out and get some daylight i like that washer dryer sink two sinks and pool view while you do laundry that's <laughs> unique water heater it's a good min system there i'll get you the details on the disclosure of course yeah and then back here i think i saw an exercise room the way they had it set up Let's see if we have lights that'll help oh yeah Bonus room here, and this should take you into the garage, just based on the layout, and it does. And there you go. So, your garage is more or less a shed. And for anybody with any garage doors, mice are, they don't like the cold weather, so they can, they can sneak in. So always adjust your garage doors. Just a public service announcement after living through it. But that is what they did. So you're in the garage. The garage, they basically put up this wall that you're looking at right now and finished it. So it could be converted back to a garage, just so you know, but you're in it and it's finished space at this current point in time. And I believe that is everything with the lower level. Let me get you up here. Yep. So up we go, go back to the main floor and then we'll head on up, show you the upstairs. All right. So, so far, no real bedrooms. I guess downstairs, if you wanted to carve one out, you probably could. I'm gonna save that. Wow, deceiving. It doesn't look this big on the outside, but it is. Look at this, one, two, three. All right, so here's bedroom number one. Just stepping up. I would guess that hardwoods are under here, but that's only a guess, but it looks like I'm right because there's hardwoods in the closet. So sizable closet. Again, I don't know if it's the same color. I keep saying again, uh, but a pink hue there. Blue accent wall, cool ceiling fan. Okay, that's bedroom number one. Bedroom number two. Okay, good size bedroom. Just bigger bed and they have a desk in here in a closet. So I'll close that and bring you back here. It's probably a full bed, is my guess. Looks like a little linen closet and it is. Bedroom number three with two twin beds. Now behind me, I can look and see the pool. Ceiling fan, crown molding in here. Okay, and then this has just gotta be another closet. Yeah, hardwood floors. And this is the bathroom. Full bathroom. Cool toilet. Then you can look out and see the pool. Bring it back. Looks like the floor was updated. All right, and then down here, that's a cool shot. We have bedroom number four, which is the primary. So king bed, you can see that whole wall there. So that's all closets. Spin you around. Ceiling fan in here as well. And, <laughs> and then full bathroom. So probably done around the same time, similar design toilet. Really cool, contemporary, that way they did that. And then a walk-in shower, which you gotta walk in because you walk in and it goes to the left. So you got a little bit more room than just the door, which is good news. There you go. So 
that is the, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say that's everything. Nope, you got a linen closet here. Wow, really, really nice the way it's set up. Now we'll head up, bonus room. So this technically the fifth bedroom. So you have a wall unit there for AC. Haha, <laughs> all the cubbies from the roof line. I like how they did that. Looks like there's even some storage behind there. And let's read. Door is heavy. Please use two hands to open. Okay. Door is heavy. Please use two hands to open. Okay. We'll have to open it. But that's just with the roof line and extra storage. Oh my gosh. You use copper to build that. Very nice. Okay, we'll head back down. Deceiving again. I will say it yet again. I mean it. House is nice from the outside. Do not get me wrong. It's huge on the inside. So, there you go. Dining room. And I'll leave you with one more quick shot oh, this is cool. of the pool. So go all the way here. And there's the pool. So I will leave you there.